HP's EliteBook 840 Aero G8 is the company's upper mid-range business laptop wrapped around a lightweight chassis that was used in a previous G7 variant. New updates include 11th gen Intel Tiger Lake U options, Intel Iris XE graphics, 5G connectivity and Thunderbolt 4 ports. Is it enough to warrant a buy? Let's find out. For those familiar with the G7 model like the EliteBook 845 I reviewed a few months back, you'll find the same excellent silver chassis in the G8. Lightweight at 1.13 kilograms or 2.49 pounds, solid and well built with minor flexing on the chassis. Weakest point being the centre of the outer display lid. For peace of mind it's been tested to military standard 810H standards. There's a single display hinge that opens to nearly 170 degrees flat for flexible viewing angles. The ventilation grills are hidden underneath the hinge. For maintenance undo 5 screws to open the bottom cover. The memory is replaceable up to the maximum of 64GB DDR4 thanks to the two SODIMM slots. The PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD is also replaceable along with the 53Wh battery and M.2 Wi-Fi module. This review model has a 14-inch Full HD IPS anti-glare display panel with an 85% screen to body ratio thanks to narrow side bezels. Generally great viewing angles but there is a slight reflection on the matte panel if you're sitting behind a sunny window but you can crank up the 400 nits brightness to compensate for this. Colour accuracy is good at 72% NTSC, fine for most business applications that you would use. There's no option for 4K or full Adobe RGB if you need to work with Photoshop or Lightroom. On the right you have one AC power connector, a HDMI 2.0B, two Thunderbolt 4 with USB 4 Type-C 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery DisplayPort 1.4, an optional 5G SIM slot. On the left we have a nano security lock, two USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second signaling rate, one with charging, a stereo headphone microphone combo jack and an optional smart card reader. There's an Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 2x2 and Bluetooth 5 combo card inside the Aero G8. Paired with the Wi-Fi 6 access point, connectivity and range is excellent. Bluetooth is also good if you need to pair a working from home headset for example. The HP Premium Collaboration Keyboard is spill resistant and has backlit keys. Typing action is excellent with tactile well spaced out keys. A bonus is a quiet typing experience perfect for open plan offices or public library. Definitely up there in terms of comfortable to type laptop keyboards. The Microsoft Position Clickpad with multi-touch gesture support is smooth to glide your fingers over. Integrated buttons are louder than I would like and the touchpad dimensions could be larger. The Aero G8 has a pointing stick in the middle of the keyboard paired with two physical buttons above the touchpad, useful for tight spots like on a train or plane. The dual stereo speakers tuned by Bang & Olufsen are loud enough to hear from a lover room. Good balanced audio and a sprinkle of bass. Great for Zoom to Spotify or Netflix box set binge sessions. There are dual array world facing microphones for group video conferences. The 720p webcam is above average for Zoom or Teams meetings in good lighting conditions. Not so good if you're in a darkened room. This review model has 11th gen Intel Core i7 1165G7 quad core running at a base clock of 2.8 GHz at a TDP of 28 watts, boosting up to 4.7 GHz. With 16GB of DDR4 memory running a dual channel mode and a fast 512GB PCIe NVMe SSD, the Aero G8 flies with most day-to-day -day office productivity tasks thrown at it. The i7 1165G7 will also work happily with Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro. For example, editing and rendering video clips. This Intel CPU will give the newer AMD Ryzen 7 5700U and higher TDP performing i7 10 750H a good run for their money. On the PC Mark 10 stress testing, the 840 Aero G8 scored 4690 points. Cinebench R23 scored 4069 in CPU multi-core and 1397 points in single core. Superposition Benchmark scored 2044. Geekbench 5 produced a CPU single core score of 1461 and multi core score of 4356. The Compute Benchmark scored 14446. 
Finally, 3D Mark Time Spy gave an overall score 1,369, graphics score 1,240, and CPU score 3,373. The fan is silent most of the time, at most a low humming noise when it's taxed. Great for working quiet environments. Heat-wise under load, there's a tiny amount of heat in the middle of the chassis where the processor is located, otherwise it's cool as a cucumber most of the time. This review model has an Intel Iris XE graphics chip running inside. It uses the XE architecture introduced in September 2020. The GPU runs at a base clock of 400mHz, up to 1300mHz at 28 watts. The Iris XE G7 sits just below the AMD Radeon RX Vegas 7 GPU. In terms of gaming, the Iris XE is not designed for playing AAA titles. For example, Cyberpunk 277 struggles to play even in low settings. If you need to release some steam after a long day at the office, it will play titles from several years ago in low to medium settings. The Leapbook 840 Aero G8 has a wealth of security features, not surprising considering it's a corporate laptop. IR sensors for Windows Hello authentication, webcam privacy shutter and a fingerprint sensor. There's a usual TPM chip that links to Windows BitLocker to encrypt your hard drive and data. HP have introduced their HP Wolf security tool to the Leapbook range offering hardware enforced security features. This review model has a HP Longlife 3 cell 53 watt hour lithium ion battery. In daily business usage, multiple browser tabs, office suite, teams calling are managed around 8 to 9 hours battery life. Great for a day of working from home without needing to plug it in. The 65 watt USB Type C adapter allows you to juice up your G8 quickly with fast charging, 50% in 30 minutes. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Good upgrade options. Nowadays, you normally find soldered on memory on compact laptops, so it's good to see HP have kept the Aero G8 with full upgrade options like dual, sodium memory slots, NVMe M.2 slot, Wi Fi card, and removable battery. So quiet. The 840 Aero has an extremely quiet cooling fan, leading to a virtually silent laptop most of the time. Great if you're sensitive to noise or work in one. Performance takes a hit with lower than normal sustained turbo boost. Good battery life. The G8 has a useful all-day battery with fast charging if you need to top it up to finish your work report. If you're just browsing or using web cloud services, battery life of 10 hours plus is possible. Poor webcam. Dear Santa, please ask all laptop manufacturers to use decent webcams in their premium devices. The one in the 840 Aero G8 is below average at best, even in good lighting environments. Where's 1610? The G8 will be the last model to use the 16:9 wide display ratio and good riddance. The new G9 model will be out in March 2022 with a 1610 ratio at a 1920 by 1200 resolution. The extra height will be perfect for work productivity. Restricted CPU. HP have given priority to silent running to the Aero 840 G8 over performance. If you were in the market for a 14-inch lightweight business laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Acer Travelmate Spin P6. Dell Latitude 7420. Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 2 14-inch Intel. Zeus ExpertBook B5 11th Gen Intel, MSI Prestige 14. The Leapbook 840 Aero G8 is a complete business ultrabook, extremely well-built and lightweight to move it around comfortably with one hand. A plethora of features like 5G, NFC, plenty of ports including Thunderbolt 4, a choice of decent display options, all wrapped around security features as long as your arm. The keyboard and clickpad are excellent for all-day use, backed by the excellent battery life. The G8 has plenty of upgrade options, two memory slots, and an NVMe M.2 SSD slot. The laptop is as silent as a dormouse. Yes, the performance takes a hit slightly, but not enough to worry most business users. The Leapbook 840 G9 is around the corner, coming out March 2022, with a 1610 display, 12th gen Intel Alder Lake processors, DDR5 memory up to 64GB, and Wi-Fi 6E. If you can't wait until then, the HP Leapbook 840 Aero G8 is one of the best compact business laptops you can buy. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP Leapbook 840 Aero G8 laptop please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos thanks for watching cheers